Every day, thousands of Afghans and Pakistanis cross the border here at Spin Boldak. Since the Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan, their numbers have increased significantly. Among them are members of the Hazara ethnic group from central Afghanistan. They told Al Jazeera that some Afghans are trying to find flights out of Pakistan to other countries, while others are seeking refuge with families in the city of Quetta. Further north, people appeal to officials at the Torkham crossing to be allowed through. Some desperately want to be reunited with family members, others are seeking medical care. Pakistan says only those with valid passports and visas are allowed to cross. The Taliban says it's not blocking people from leaving, but Afghans must have the correct paperwork. Taliban officials at the border acknowledge people are suffering economic hardship in Afghanistan, but say things will get better over time. Second, there is a Taliban fighter at the Torham crossing. He says the country's new rulers have restored peace and ended lawlessness. But with trained professionals like engineers and doctors leaving, many aren't convinced. Wahid's at the border to greet his family returning from Pakistan. He also wants to go to the United States. No one can actually trust them. They are saying, because everyone has, uh, uh, has uh, experienced the Taliban government uh, previous, uh, uh, 20 years before, so uh, now no one can trust them, no one can trust them, they are saying their words. So I also, we, 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 we don't trust on them. The United Nations fears up to half a million people could leave Afghanistan in the next few days and weeks. The Pakistani officials on this side of the border say that they're already hosting millions of Afghans and a further influx could further pose challenges not just for aid but for security as well. There are 20 to 25,000 people who cross every day anyways and many without documentation which is something Pakistan has been agitating against has asked again and again for the international community to help man the border. After the Afghan army withered away, the Taliban took over without much resistance and has made promises of peace and forgiveness. But its next test is to convince people to stay under its rule. Osama Mujawid al-Jazeera, Torkham Border Crossing.